hey beauties welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will be unboxing the morphe times lucky charm collection i want to say that i got the entire collection if that's everything that i saw that was on the site yeah i did i'm gonna be honest yeah because i caught the um the collection in its entirety i didn't buy everything um separate i ended up catching the collection <clears throat> so as you can see that i'm starting to unbox now um in the collection i got the brush set the lip gloss the eyeliner slash lip liner pencils they are very creamy because i swatched it off camera and i got the um eyeshadow palette the only cons i have about this this collection um, this is not judging based off the products because I haven't used them yet. But off of, out of this collection, I really and truly was hoping that Morphe would have a liquid lipstick set. And, um, you know, with the coordinating lip gloss. You know, but overall, it's a very beautiful collection. It's a very fun collection. If you are a makeup artist or a makeup lover or just a makeup enthusiast and you love color like I do then you are going to love this collection so as i'm unboxing the collection i want to um thank everyone who looked at my last video in the video i talked about how i became a makeup artist and um i just love telling that story because it was prophesized by my mother so i just love telling that story to people when they ask I'm also testing out my new microphone, y'all. So I'm excited about that because I'm getting ready to go back to podcasting. I'm going to delete all of my other podcasts that I had and um, just revamp my podcast. So when I do do that, I will definitely have a short showing, telling y'all where to go. I'm really learning how to put my podcast on Apple, but it was it's on Spotify. So I don't know if I want to continue doing it on Spotify or not. I'm definitely, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on Spotify. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the entire collection. Like I said, the only cons that I have about the collection is that it was no liquid lipsticks and coordinating lip glosses involved. So, the only thing that I've learned on my journey, what I'm learning on my journey is that, like I said, makeup is always evolving. If you watched the last video, I mentioned that. But the cattiness, like the cattiness and the pettiness or whatever you know i guess that comes along with the territory you know i find that it's hard to make makeup friends you know it's hard to um make friends in the makeup world i don't know if it's uh because you know of here in louisiana i don't know if it's the parishes like um here we have parishes instead of counties so i don't know if that's what the problem is but i find out here in my parish alone i know a few makeup artists but we do not collaborate or do anything like that because when you live in a small a small town people breed small minds and that's all i'm gonna say and um i find that also on social media as well like i'm like okay you know i try to engage with you know other fellow makeup artists that come across my page and child they will act like they don't know you and act like they do not see you they want you to follow them and get their numbers up but they don't want to follow you and i understand you know it's about a hustle everyone is trying to become you know do something show their talent off or whatever but you have to learn how to reciprocate too you know you get you get more when you give more and i was like you know what i'm over trying to you know be cool with people or whatever so you know i just do my little thing and just keep on going you know what i'm saying <laughs> yep so these lip pencils are very creamy and i learned that when i swatched i was like whoa 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 i don't know how i'm gonna sharpen those but they so pretty i wish they were retractable this is the lip gloss so yeah you know i guess you have to build up it takes time it only takes patience and I'm the type of person that, you know, I have patience. Sometimes I can be a bad judge of character. That's a, a flaw I have. But um, I do believe in patience or whatever, you know. 
Y'all, this lip gloss is very beautiful. And um, you're going to see it swatch real soon in the next video. I think I was doing this for TikTok and I was running out of time. Because you know you only have up to three minutes. Some people are having ten minutes. So I'm just waiting to see when the ten minutes come. Because baby, when them ten minutes come, sis going to be on it. <laughs> sis is going to be on it. I'm going to be able to put a whole editorial up. Or at least some of the editorial up. So this is a swatch. Look how pretty it is. It's a white gold lip gloss with gold. It's like a greenish gold reflex. Now I'm also mad because my package kept being delayed for some odd reason. Um, where I live, the U UPS and FedEx man don't like to come back there. It's not a bad neighborhood. It's just that the owners of the property that I live on doesn't want to fix the roads and so they hate having to come with the bumps in the road and I'm like imagine I live back here so that's another thing so it kept being delayed for some strange reason and I was hoping to have this collection in time for uh St. Patrick's Day to do a St. Patrick's Day look in it because I had already seen the collection I want to say on trend mood and I was like that'd be so cute to do a cute um St. Patrick's Day look because of course you know Lucky Charms is centered around St. Patrick's uh, I'm sorry St. Patrick's Day but I ended up catching it after plus I had been working longer hours so whenever I'm at home I try to um, get any orders that I may have so that I can have content to shoot so I was just glad to get it I was like okay maybe next time but I'm definitely tell you it's definitely a pride um, palette if you're looking to do pride even if you just love doing color like me I'm a colorful makeup artist I love to do color I can do neutral but I love to do color now a little bit about this palette the last three greens that is on the on the uh, bottom row oh my goodness you know working long hours you get tongue-tied really quick if you have the Mel cosmetics um it's similar to the colors that's in the Mel cosmetics um real quick Talika what is it uh smoke session palette or smoke palette and that uh first shimmer green kind of reminds me of the ashley strong though i don't have it i was able to swatch it but it does remind me of that nonetheless this is a very very uh beautiful palette and i look forward to creating many many looks with it so yeah these are all swatched with zero primer and yeah i was i was in my room because i actually was filming this and i had to be back at work so i wanted to catch some type of content for y'all to have because i'm a person that's dedicated to it so thank you guys for watching my video please like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll see y'all in the next video